is it doing and why should everyone consider getting one? So it's, it's referred to in the literature as photobiomodulation, photobiomodulation. So if you want to look up any of the clinical studies, put photobiomodulation and then put and dementia and Alzheimer's and skin and um, inflammation and, and the studies will come up. But basically different nanometers of, of, of light have different effects in the body. And um, so they are um, well researched and, and publicized to reduce inflammation, um, increase microvascular circulation. So the smallest of the capillaries in our body uh, are affected by light. Um, they have a very specific effect in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. So if you actually went through the wall of a cell and into the cytoplasm and found the mitochondria and you went into the mitochondria, you'd see that there's a motor in there that's spinning around. It's called the Krebs cycle. And this motor, when it spits out energy called ATP, um, it, you know, essentially it has two choices every time it makes a revolution, right? It, it can either create two units of energy or it creates 36 units of energy. It's either 16 times more efficient or 16 times less efficient. And what determines that is whether or not oxygen enters that cycle. So one of the things that red light does is it goes through the wall of the mitochondria and it kicks out a gas called mitochondrial nitric oxide and forces oxygen to dock. So when you get into a red light therapy bed or use red light therapy panels, one of the things that's happening is you're essentially forcing oxygen into the mitochondria. You're forcing the oxygen to use mitochondria and release a gas called mitochondrial nitric oxide. This is also measurable, by the way. You can get saliva nitric oxide strips. You could put it in your mouth. And before you got in a red light therapy bed, you could look at the saliva um, the amount of nitric oxide in your saliva and you'd see it's like a pale kind of yellowish pink. Then you get in one of those red light therapy beds for 20 minutes and about 10 minutes after you get out, test it again, you'll see that your nitric oxide